Bloody Mary, Wikipedia article audio. A Bloody Mary is a cocktail containing vodka, tomato juice, and combinations of other spices and flavorings including Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, piri piri sauce, garlic, and herb sauce, beef consomme or bouillon, horseradish, celery, olives, salt, black pepper, lemon juice, lime juice, and slash or celery salt. In the United States, it is usually consumed in the morning or early afternoon, and is popular as a hangover cure. The Bloody Mary was invented in the 1920s or 1930s, there are various theories as to the origin of the drink, as well as the origin of its name. It has many variants, most notably the Red Snapper, the Virgin Mary, the Caesar and the Michelada. History Origin of the name Fernand Petit claimed to have invented the Bloody Mary in 1921, well before any of the later claims, according to his granddaughter. He was working at the New York Bar in Paris at the time, which later became Harry's New York Bar, a frequent Paris hangout for Ernest Hemingway and other American expatriates. The original cocktail is said to have been created on the spur of the moment, according to the bar's own traditions, consisting only of vodka and tomato juice. Harry's Bar also claims to have created numerous other classic cocktails, including the White Lady and the Sidecar. New York's 21 Club has two claims associated with it. One is that it was invented in the 1930s by a bartender named Henry Z. Baikiluiz, who was charged with mixing Bloody Marys. Another attributes its invention to the comedian George Jessel, who frequented the 21 Club. In 1939, Lucius Beebe printed in his gossip column This New York one of the earliest U.S. references to this drink, along with the original recipe. George Jessel's newest pick-me-up which is receiving attention from the town's paragraphers is called a Bloody Mary, half tomato juice, half vodka. Fernand Petit later claimed to have invented the modern Bloody Mary in 1934 as a refinement to Jessel's drink, at the King Cole Room in New York's St. Regis Hotel, according to the hotel's own history. When Pettiot spoke to the New Yorker magazine in July 1964, he said. I initiated the Bloody Mary of today, he told us. Jessel said he created it, but it was really nothing but vodka and tomato juice when I took it over. I cover the bottom of the shaker with four large dashes of salt, two dashes of black pepper, two dashes of cayenne pepper, and a layer of Worcestershire sauce, I then add a dash of lemon juice and some cracked ice, put in two ounces of vodka and two ounces of thick tomato juice, shake, strain, and pour. We serve a hundred to a hundred and fifty Bloody Marys a day here in the King Cole Room and in the other restaurants and the banquet rooms. The cocktail was claimed as a new cocktail under the name Red Hammer in Life magazine in 1942, consisting of tomato juice, vodka, and lemon juice. Less than a month later in the same magazine, an advertisement for French's Worcestershire sauce suggested that it be added to a virgin tomato juice cocktail along with tomato juice, salt, and pepper. The addition of salt to the alcoholic beverage was suggested that same year in a story in Hearst's International combined with Cosmopolitan. Preparation and Serving The name Bloody Mary is associated with a number of historical figures particularly Queen Mary I of England, who was nicknamed as such in Fox's Book of Martyrs for attempting to re-establish the Catholic Church in England and fictional women from folklore. Some drink aficionados believe the inspiration for the name was Hollywood star Mary Pickford. 
Others trace the name to a waitress named Mary who worked at a Chicago bar called the Bucket of Blood. The tradition at Harry's New York bar in Paris, according to manager Elaine de Silva in a 2011 interview, is that one of the patrons for whom the cocktail was first mixed in 1920 or 1921 declared, It looks like my girlfriend who I met in a cabaret. The cabaret's name was the Bucket of Blood and the girlfriend's name was Mary, so the patrons and bartender Pete Pettiot agreed to call it a Bloody Mary. Yet another suggested origin of Bloody Mary is that the name in English simply arose from a failure to pronounce the Slav syllables of a drink called Vladimir which gains some credibility from the anecdotal observation that the customer at the New York bar for whom Fernand Pettiot prepared the drink in 1920-21 was Vladimir Smirnov, of the Smirnov vodka family. In the United States, the Bloody Mary is a common hair of the dog drink, reputed to cure hangovers with its combination of a heavy vegetable base, salt, and alcohol. Most medical advice suggests that the alcohol only numbs the discomfort, only rest, water, and electrolyte replacement can cure a hangover. Nonetheless, Bloody Mary enthusiasts enjoy some relief from the numbing effects of the alcohol, as well as the placebo effect. Its reputation as a restorative beverage contributes to the popularity of the Bloody Mary in the morning and early afternoon especially with brunch. The drink is traditionally served over ice in a tall glass, such as a highball, flared pint, or hurricane glass. The two critical ingredients, vodka and tomato juice, are relatively simple, however, the drink almost never consists of these two ingredients alone. Among the more common additions to the juice base are salt or celery salt, cracked pepper, hot sauce, citrus juices, Worcestershire sauce, celery seed, horseradish, clam juice or olive brine, brown sugar, or molasses and bitters. Some or all of these ingredients can come pre-mixed with the tomato juice as a single Bloody Mary mix to which the vodka is added or the drink may be hand-constructed by the bartender from raw ingredients according to the patron's preference. A common garnish is a celery stalk when served in a tall glass, other common garnishes include olives, cheese cubes, a dill pickle spear, lemon wedges, dried sausage, and shrimp. There is a considerable amount of variation available in the drink's construction and presentation including the use of different base spirits like bourbon, rye, tequila, and gin. Gin is often preferred in the UK, sometimes called a red snapper, or ruddy mary. In addition to the aforementioned more traditional ingredients, Practically anything can be added to the drink itself or as a garnish according to the drinker's wishes or the bartender's or establishment's traditions. Some variations of the Bloody Mary served by restaurants are designed to be a meal as well as a drink, coming with massive garnishes on skewers inserted into the glass, including ribs, miniature hamburger sliders, grilled or fried shrimp, kebabs, sandwich wedges, fruit slices, and even sashimi. The drink itself can be served in any of a variety of glasses, from wine glasses to schooners or beer steins, according to tradition or availability. It is a tradition in the upper Midwest, particularly in Wisconsin, to serve a Bloody Mary with a small beer chaser. A Virgin Mary also known as a Bloody Virgin or Bloody Shame is a non-alcoholic cocktail, generally using the same ingredients and garnish as a Bloody Mary, but with the spirits replaced by additional tomato juice or prepared mix.